Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Swan Song campaign where it is time to go into part two of our Flashpoint uh, Succession Wars. Yuento has asked us, um, so how's Kulan has asked us to kill Yuento. Yuento Kulan, the daughter of Lady Helen Kulan. And we are gladly obeying because it is paying money and we are mercenaries at the end of the day. In this case, Bradford is going to lead the pack and um, Pradlemox is going to join. Got a Centurion, Black Knight, Griffin, Griffin. Our mechs were pretty on, on spot of uh, what they're supposed to do. The maximum tonnage here worked out well and the Black Knight was surprisingly accurate and worked well with the heat despite having taken away all of its extra gimmicks. Let's jump in and see how well part two of this flashpoint is going. Okay. I'm there. As always, don't I'm take there. the straight approach. Take the somewhat curved approach. Got a flea that is running into us. That is going to be hilarious to fight against that one. Heads up. I got a center trace. That's potentially a commando, I would guess. That could have been an Irby or a blackjack something with an ac something weapon and a bit of lrms okay so far so good they got their shots off now it's our turn affirmative commander another spider okay cool Well, I mean, let's start with the obvious. We hate the flea, and the flea needs to die. There seems to be another heavy mech. What can I do for you? Coordinates received. All right, multi-targeting, flea, and this guy. Surprised that the flea still is evading uh, so well. But okay, fair enough. Catch you next time. Receiving you. Red Ford. What is wrong? Sixty percent. Okay, good enough. We're going to use vigilance instead of hitting badger. Six percent is still good. Oh boy. Solid connection on that one. Something I can do. Coordinates received. Got yeah, that flea was overdue, way overdue. Going to deal with the spider soon. Again, let's continue to wait what they are doing. That was an AC-10. My old mama can hit harder than that. That could be Blackjack. Could be a Jaeger. No, Jaeger mech would be a heavy one. Me to hold still for you? But we got quite a few medium mechs. 
Okay, the Griffin certainly has taken his fair share of beating. There is the Centurion, okay, cool. Vigilance, so that we're making sure we're not being pushed over. And then it's time to go for the only target that we really have available for now. I'm losing armor left and right. All right, our Griffin is is a bit in front and center. I'm not sure if I like it. You betcha. I want to save heat. Uh -huh. So we're just trying to hit a little bit. Oh, it's okay. Ready to get it on. Mox moves up. And let's focus on that Centurion. Ready for order. Centurion is nicely hit. Black Knight moves up, potentially needs to take the lead soon. Acknowledged. Yeah, that was a single hit. Not enough to get the spider down. Problem here is we had no real good alternatives. I'm catching some serious shit here, Commander. All right, Griffin moves back. And I mean, safest uh, bet is to sensor lock and make sure that we're dealing with a spider soon. The other Griffin should now be the center of attention for now, and that's okay. I hear ya. Moving all the way up here. And we're using Vigilance for the 60% damage reduction. That spider will at least take a hit from the small laser. Took a few more, which is good. Another hit like that and you're toast. Shadowhawk tries to retaliate. Not successful. Not really. Waiting for order. Moving, Moving up. Multi target. target. Fully unloading onto that Centurion. Nice little hit. And we're just reducing the spider in case. Report negative damage. That was a pretty heavy hit. Lots of ballistic shots, really. Another Centurion. Okay, okay. Black Knight moves up, and now it's time to get that Centurion. AC-10 is gone, Centurion is, uh, has an open torso. to do that I mean yeah why not Griffin moves up continue to vigilance and 
Unfortunately, the spider is still evasive. Want some more, huh? Luckily for us, now we've received some injuries. Fantastic. Moving to here, oh, wow. multi shots. This and that. And the Centurion time. should die. Yep, that worked as expected. Spider should lose a bit of its evasion. Okay. And could okay. be the next. Shadowhawk, okay. What are we dealing with? 40%? 50%? Okay, not too bad. Griffin is still okay. It's not that we're having any any open Copy slots that. spider on the other hand is highly highly damaged oh, easy on the armor buddy so we could finish that guy hatchet man okay fair enough another centurion something you want done but we do not have multi shot I think this would be the safer choice Let's ma still make sure that we're okay on the heat department. Target acquired. Very good. Just just as much damage as needed in order to kill the guy, so we'll get some resolve. And we really nicely saved some heat here. So that one was a good a good kill. Good to go. Ninety percent hits on the Shadow Hawk, although everything will be reduced by forty percent. Still okay, I would say. Decent damage, net net. Also a head injury from the pilot, so that was okay. I was hoping he would do that. Moving up. Vigilance. Byron. And his back is already open. That Shadowhawk has done a substantial mistake. Let's wait until one more of uh, these guys will show up. Holding for tactical advantage. Black Knight is ne needing to tank. Fire. Unfortunately, his arm might uh, soon be open. Let's 
Oh no, that was not his armor. Okay, cool. Ordered. Good. Moving up. I'm not afraid that we have a mech in our back because this guy will die before anything happens. Centurion takes the entire arsenal. Just lost almost 200 armor. Now the arm is opened. Okay. Yes, Commander. No problem. One and two. Good. Here we go, Shadow Hulk. Multiple targets confirmed. And the Centurion is down to 600 armor. Yep. Griffin moves up. Still vigilance. I'm on him. Shadowhawk's jump jets are down, and he's highly unstable. He might get around. Okay. But he misses, which is not unusual given that he is unstable. You can just move back and kill the guy next turn. What's up, Commander? Be there in the gym. Centurion's, uh, Centurion moves up. Continue to hit it. I mean, quite a bit of an opposition here. Commander. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. Griffin moves up. Uh, I can't really hit anything but the right, Centurion. Man. That guy is in that trouble. He All realizes right. it and moves back. Okay, cool. So, left arm is the problem. Which means the right arm is the strong arm. Move order received. Time to hit that red um hatchet man here. Taking the shot. Couple of hits. He has injured. But not killed uh, or severely injured uh, the griffin here. Gotta be careful with this griffin. Losing armor left and right here. Confirmed. All right. Moving up Copy with the that. Griffin. Still the 40%. And let's kill the Shadowhawk. Fantastic. Good. First Lance is completely down. Fighting against the second Lance will now be a problem. Centurion 
Let's I'm move away. over here. And that hatchet man needs to lose as much armor as, they, as we can. Luckily, so far he has not moved Minor damage, Commander. into melee. Good to go. Griffin here might be the right person to continue Coordinate. tanking for now. No open spots so far. Continuing to hit that hatchet man. Left arm of the Black Knight that still seems hurdle. to be intact. Waiting for orders. Moving a tiny bit back. Something along the lines of this. And Locked let's off. continue to dish, dam uh, dish our damage. connection on that one okay so far we're doing fine Yikes, that hit hard. it's go time orders all right moving so that I hope Upper. that this trebuchet will not get into our back. And let's continue hitting this hatchet man. Critical hit. All right, that's a knockdown. And with a knockdown, I would suspect that we can get it down next turn. Right, Lily could move over here. Got it. And we're giving her vigilance. That means she acts first next round. And how many hit points? 27. Yeah, we should be able to do that. Saving Got some heat. And the hatchet man is gone. With both of them here, we could get into the back of the trebuchet and try to actually completely get it down. 60% damage reduction, that's fantastic. Okay, that was bad. Right here. All right. Hmm. Next up, Centurion. Confirm. Just lost its large laser, that and half of the Centurion is gone as well. Lady Griffin now has an open leg. Not the end of the world. The Orion overheats. Okay, that's good to know. Moving out. Moving in with the Black Knight. Vigilance for 60% damage reduction. And let's continue to hit the Centurion. Fantastic. Can go down. Oh hell yes. It's on now. Alright, Lily moves into the back of the trebuchet i think we're reducing its initiative that's a good idea Affirmative. down to 25 Can't aim uh, for the middle anymore, but there is a good chance. I mean, it's 25 hit points, one hit, right? There we go. 
That was a glaring mistake. Uh, the trebuchet moved in and essentially almost sacrificed itself. Ready for orders. Commander. Location confirmed. Target damaged. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. I copy. Leg Knight. Engaging target. Continues to hit it well. The Orion is overheating. And is now going for really safe maneuvers. Position confirmed. Go. Let's continue getting the Orion down. We have a few open spots on the Mac. Waiting for orders. Right, Commander. All right. Using all of our firepower, really. Waiting for orders. Black Knight moves up, 40% damage reduction. Acknowledged. Torso is open, leg is open. She tries to move away. This is her trying to flee, I suppose. In the meantime, we're hitting her well. Griffin moves over. Oh, it's just sensor lock. That saves us some heat for next round. Commander, waiting for orders. Moving to the other Griffin moves up. Firing on target. Receiving you. All right, Vigilance, and now with all of the small lasers, let's go. Engaging with target. Inflicted some heavy damage. Yeah, our arm took a bit of, a bit of damage. Hey, I'm getting my ass. Mech warriors? Show them what you got. Order acknowledged. Good. I We're reducing you. her evasion flips. And yeah, finally, Yuto went down. Wow, that was a large rumble. So we fought, fought against one heavy mech. I think an entire lance of so four medium mechs. And then a lance, a mixed lance, uh, two medium mix, two light mix. So that'll be nine. And they were pretty much clustered up. So we uh, we uh, received a lot of damage from the beginning. But if you look at the armor, maybe short of the Centurion, it's a, it's a decent sign if at the end of the mission you're at half armor with most of your mechs. It, shows that you have like juggled it nicely without losing a body part well done commander mclean very well done indeed good I think we're done with those guys.
And yeah, we got a nice little addition for the Draconis Cabine. Capellian Configuration also likes us a bit more than beforehand. LM5 plus 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 is good. A gyro is not bad. We don't have one yet, so that's a, a nice item. They those here help versus, uh, for hit defense, and they typically only cost slots and zero tonnage. So that's one of my favorite mods, which kind of brings us back to the mech bay. Okay, zero seabills, that's what I like to hear. Do we have a fleet to, or four mechs to put into the next mission? And do we want to do some of these missions before going on? We do have two pirate missions here. Matter of fact, we actually have a few. So maybe I'll just do two more episodes with uh, harder missions in the kind of four and a half, four, four and a half school category. This year, for instance, with 32 salvage, that looks like a really interesting mission. I'm not going to work against the pirates. We already determined that. Yeah. Well, the one thing that we could do is we could take one mission against the pirates and then we'll essentially regain the favor in the next mission here. Interestingly enough, the pirate missions are against the Capellian Confederation. So, yeah, sometimes um, it's not optimal. Just a few missions here are against the um, sun, the Federated Suns. Let's maybe start with that in the next run and just get those uh, 32. There is... What kind of tonnage restriction exists? 60 tons. Well, that is interesting. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to do that mission next. Wasn't even aware that we had a tonnage restriction, but rest assured, you can always kind of stop the work on the smaller mechs. I think I just messed that one up. Thunderbolt here. I think the guy was a repair. Yeah, I think that guy was a repair and we just wanted to store it. Okay. And I'm not sure if it was the same for the Orion, likely. Good. Currently, this year is kind of the lighter section, and these here are our assault mechs. Maybe not bad to have two heavy mechs, but we potentially would need to upgrade the Orion um, just in case. I wanted to get a Grasshopper or a Marauder, but that seems to be not possible. Not in this run, at least. So before we're uh, closing the mission, kind of a little outlook for the next time. We're going to do this mission here. Four school mission with uh, tonnage restrictions. Uh, that is rare to see tonnage restrictions. As you can see, most of the other missions do not have such a restriction. And thus, it is interesting. We're going to do that mission. Then we'll fool around uh, with a few other missions here. And eventually we'll then uh, go for a victory lap in a five school flashpoint that should conclude the Swan Song campaign. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoy Battletech content, want to see more Battletech, just leave a comment down below and hit that like button. I appreciate your viewership and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.